so today we're going to go over the circumference of a circle. <sighs> circumference is the distance around the outside of a circle. So it's basically like the perimeter of a circle. It's just called circumference because it's you can't take a perimeter of a circle because of it's round because it's round so you don't just add up the distances like you would to find perimeter but you're still finding th how long this blue arc is so circumference is equal to pi times d or 2 pi r so d is the diameter so D is this whole line right here. R is the radius, which is D is equal to 2R, because the radius is just this piece right here, and diameter is this whole part. So this thing, this funny looking thing right here is called pi, and it's, we have to multiply diameter by pi to find circumference. If you're get if you want the exact value of the circumference, you'll write c is equal to like 12 pi. But if they ask for an approximation of c, you're gonna say pi is approximately 3.14. Pi is a um, non-repeating decimal, so it just keeps going on and on forever. So there's no way to get exactly circumference unless you write it like this. But if you wanted to approximate it, you'd take 12 times 3.14. And if you plug it into a calculator, you'll get 36.68. But that's just an example. So now we're going to do some more examples. Find the circumference. So this is the center of the circle. So this is the radius. So to find our area, we're going to take 2 pi r. So for an exact value, we'll get 16 pi. For an approximation, we'll get 16 times 3.14. If you plug that into a calculator, you'll get 15.24. So when we have an exact value, we use equal signs. But when we approximate the circumference, we're going to use these little wavy lines and that just signals that we approximated it and that this is not the ac exact value of the circumference. It's pretty close, it's just not exact. So find the circumference. This time we're given diameter. But if we wanted to do the 2 pi r1 instead of pi d1, we would just divide 15 by 2 and you get 7.5. But I think it's just easier to use pi times diameter. So for an exact value, we get circumference is equal to 15 pi. For an approximation, we get... 40 will we get 47.1 inches now since we're doing the distance around the circle we're going to be in just inches because circumference is a one dimensional measure unlike area which is two dimensional so that's actually all we have for today but make sure you come next time where we'll be finding the area of a circle.